crafters I'm back and I've gotten my thin film I bought this it's a 12 by 12 sheet and I got this at Country Craft Creations um, so what I did is is I just took and laid it down onto the back of my frame and I just made a snip here and a snip over here and then I'm just going to basically cut those across because it doesn't again it doesn't have to be perfect if you if that bothers you on the back that it has to be more than perfect well um, then measure it out and cut it on your machine um, you can do that as well for me this works just as well because nobody's going to see all the imperfection in it unless I cut it cut it uh, <laughs> lopsided then I might have to cut it again so you can see I cut that off a little bit but it, it, neither here nor there it, it really will work just fine and um, you can see that's very clear it's a it's actually a very beautiful piece of um, the film I forget what you call it call it because I'm on camera if I was off camera I would know what I was saying <laughs> So if anybody knows what that's technically called, uh, please put it in the comments below so you can help out the other crafters that I didn't help with the name. But again, I got these, I got them at Tamara's shop and um, actually for a pretty good price. So um, and they weigh nothing so they can be easily added into any of your shipments without adding in too much weight to it. But again, if you buy, I think it's over 60 in Tammy's shop, um, you, uh, you get free shipping. And I tell you, I just love that. It just, you know, for those other shop owners out there, that's, that's one of the reasons why I started buying from Country Craft Creations before I really found that the group was so wonderful um, was because because uh, they had free shipping and shipping can really add up when you do a lot of different purchases so that's our frame done so the next thing that um, we do with this is I'm going to put um, foam tape around here but my foam tape is across the way so I'm gonna wait with that and we're gonna work on our layers on our the top of our book so one of the things that I did with the book for Chris vintage Christmas is I layered um, a couple different colors now I didn't I thought I had brought my uh, light blue paper with me and I didn't so I'm going to layer a couple colors um, on the book below and see how it works if it looks good, that's great. If it doesn't, then I might just do two colors and make it a little bit uh, wider. So the cover itself is eight by 10. That's the size of the book. So my first mat I will cut is seven and three quarters by nine and three quarters. And yes, it's a quarter inch uh, gap. I made it a little bit wider. My second uh, mat will be seven and a half by nine and a half. And um, the third mat, if I do three mats, it'll be seven and a quarter by nine and a quarter. And that, that um, uh, third mat may not even be necessary. I'm not sure. I'm going to cut them and lay them together and see what I think. And the matting paper that I'm using is the Artisan cardstock from uh, Country Craft Creations. And um, it's just beautiful. So I confused myself there for a minute. I was looking at something. So these were the mats that I had. And then this is going to be on here. I'm not real happy with, I thought I brought my blue paper with me. I don't know, maybe I'm, 
maybe I need to lead with the green on top because it has the black around it. I wish someone could tell me what they think. These are the only other color of solid cardstock I brought um, in this is the, um, there's more black, more cream, and the red. And red is not going to work. Don't think it'll work too well with this paper. That's just too um, orangey. And then the flowers that I have going on here is more of a, a soft orange as well. So um, don't think it's going to work too good. So I think I'm just going to do two mats and we'll just live and learn and see how it'll turn out. And I think that the green picks up that color really well. I think that the flowers will give it much more life. And um, the other, well, let me show you. The other thing that I have is I cut this out. I want this piece in the middle of this. So, yeah, I think it might be okay. I wonder if, if this will even work this is my this is my way I just throw it and put it together and see what I think sometimes there's no rhyme or reason so if I have that and that I still think I'm just gonna do the cream and green because the khaki to me is while it's I love the um, tan uh, cardstock. I feel like it just flattens out the sharpness of the other colors. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, one other thing. Let me look at one thing first and then I'll be, I'll be done. And you don't have to watch me making up my mind anymore. And that would be a no. I like it the other way better. Okay. So what we're going to do with um, cutting this paper, um, I'm just I'm going to do seven and three quarters by nine and three quarters, and uh, seven and a half by nine and a half, and then I'm I'm just going to have a larger piece around from the frame. So let's go ahead and got to move some of these things, and so I can do this cut. Well, maybe I can just cut on the side. That might work. Sorry for all this futzing around. So this is my bottom layer. So the bottom layer is going to be seven and three quarters. Seven and three quarters by nine and three quarters. And then this layer is going to be seven and a half by nine and a half. Seven and a half. By nine and a half. And the cutter that I'm using is the Fiskars Precision. And I have to tell you, I really like it. Um, I do have trouble sometimes with uh, the edges not cutting as well, depending upon the paper. If it's a thicker paper, I have a harder time. But the um, I just take a, um, oh my goodness, a nail file, uh, you know, the, the um, kind of the woody ones, and I file it down and off, and just so that it, um, doesn't have that edge sticking out. So basically, this is what this is going to look like, and then we are, so it's just fine. It doesn't really have to have three layers. If you've got the different colored cardstock, then I would say go for it and um, do the three layers, but I actually like the two layers on this one much better because we have this beautiful picture in here. And actually, you know what I really like is I'm not getting a lot of glare off of that. I, I really like that. So, okay, well, I'm going to put these two together. And again, it's just going to be done with the art glitter glue. So 
I'm going to turn this sideways, see if I can get this even as possible. I know you're probably talking to me in the camera going, push it over a little more. But <laughs> I had a friend once say to me, well, if it was all perfect, then they wouldn't know that it was handmade. So I guess that's the truth. So, all right. So we've got that put on there. And then let's get our book. Um, let me make sure that it's the right way up. And then this is going to go onto here. And we will have the edges of the black and then we will also have these edges on here. So, and again, I have this um, orangey colored flower, so I think that I'll pick up some more of that color. <sighs> Unless, no, I don't want to do, well, let me just, I'm sorry. I'm vacillating again. I wonder if I would like. It looks so stark uh, cream when I did it before. Come on. I also don't want it to look just so dark. That's the other thing. So. So what do you guys think? think that that looks a little bit lighter doesn't look quite as stark I think I agree with myself so I, I'm gonna do some uh, another piece of cream and I don't think this is gonna work nope I've got my pad of cream paper So is everybody starting to work on their Christmas projects so that they're getting ready for Christmas gifts and, and everything? Or are you not one of those early Christmas uh, crafters that you have to wait till it's fully Christmas? I usually wait to the last minute, try not to this year. Every year I have to give myself a different goal. So this one is then going to be cut at seven and one quarter. So seven and one quarter by nine and one quarter. So I think then that's what we're going to do. And then that gives us a little bit gives us a little bit better. I'm sorry if there's a shadow. I have different lighting in here as well. So I think that'll be good. So the shadow is, oh, I see it now, shadow of me and from the lighting and I apologize. I know that that's sometimes hard to see things when there's a shadow from the filming. I apologize, but uh, it's the only lighting I have. I should have done this during the day. There, that looks pretty good. Just want to glue there. Alright, so we've got that done. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this and get this on the cover. As I was saying before, I try to do some of this cutting and everything before 
um, I come on so I don't do all of it on camera. Do you guys have a preference? Do you like it that some of it is just done? Do you want to see everything? Even if the video or the tutorial goes on for 10 hours or more? Um, I'm not a fast crafter. And um, so that's why I take some of that decision making when I'm looking at something, take that out so that I'm not having you wait or watch me as I'm making my decisions. Oh shoot. See, I thought I had that nice and straight, but I don't. All right, again, little flowers there. So I will live with it. Um, and then that's going to go on top of that. And I'm going to this is the this is the page that we're going to so I'm gonna cut this and then what I'd like to do is I'll get the mat going and um, I'll come back and I'll just show you what I did with it. But um, I've got to run and get my um, what do you call it, tape? The, <laughs> I can't even think of it. The scotch roll tape so that it lifts it up a little bit. So I will be back again, sorry. Mm -hmm.